Hi everybody, welcome to Yoga Live. My name is Tiana, I'll be leading you through a nice slow flow yoga session today, vinyasa style. So I always tell everybody to listen to your body, um, and you really speak to your body throughout the entire duration of your practice to really see what spaces may be a little bit more tense than others. Um, and that just gives you knowledge throughout the duration of your practice to come out of certain poses that don't feel necessarily good for you that day. Um, and it also, each day, our body fluctuates depending on how we're feeling, even the weather with our joints. So listen to my cues as best you can. Avoid trying to really look at the screen and listen to my cues because I'll give you proper alignment so that you don't cause further injury for yourself. Yoga is supposed to be restorative and improve flexibility, mobility, and reduce pain ultimately. Also your blood pressure, help manage your blood sugars, achieve a healthy weight, you name it. So we will get started today. So let's just start by standing just for a moment on our mats before we Go into our integration piece. Let's just warm up with some a few breaths. So stand with your feet together. You can be at the top of your mat or just facing me. Squeeze your glutes together. Bear all weight in four corners of your feet. And if you don't know what that means, lift all 10 toes up and then slowly lower each toe down. So you'll feel more grounded and find your center. Reach your tailbone down, pull the belly up and in. Chin should be parallel to the floor and lengthen through the crown of your head as if somebody's pulling a string and lengthen your spine all the way up to the ceiling. Shoulders down away from the ears. You can gently promote a soft gaze down at the floor. And on an inhale, reach your arms up overhead. Look at your fingertips as your arms come overhead and your palms reach together to touch. And on an exhale, lower your hands to heart center. Three more. So inhale your arms up overhead, palms come together to touch, look at your fingertips. And on an exhale, bring your hands to heart center, bending at the elbow, bringing your hands at heart space. Inhale, reach your arms up and over your head, stretch long. Exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Inhale, reach your arms up and over your head, Hold it here, go post your arms out so that your triceps are parallel to the floor, send your hips forward, open your chest a little bit forward. Feel the opening of your heart space as you send your hip points forward and your eye gaze comes to the wall behind you without crunching the back of your neck, keeping it nice and long. Coming back to center, inhale your arms up overhead, exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Just to regulate our breath one more time. Inhale, your arms up overhead, reach through the fingertips, belly up and in. Exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Very nice. It's always good to bring in about your day if you're having a stressful situation or if you just need to take a moment for yourself to recollect your thoughts. It's always nice to bring in that breath. We tend to lose sight of that. So now that we regulated our breath a little bit more, Paid attention to our mind and our body. We'll come to a seat on our mat and come to child's pose. So coming onto your hands and your knees, bring your toes, your big toes together to touch. Widen up your knees, extend your arms out in front of you as you place your forehead down on the mat. And I'll show you the pose a little bit ahead of time and then I may come out of it just so that I can talk to you more clearly. Keep your glutes sealed to the back of your heels. Let your belly nestle in between your thighs. And you can really feel the activation of your arm muscles if you want more of an active pose here by really pressing in through the fingertips and feel the activation of your triceps and your shoulders. Or you can release the strength of your muscles and just let your muscles feel fluid and release any tension in your arms. And close your eyes here. Always pay attention to the sound and the rhythm of your breath going through each posture. 
moving from one motion to the other, like a rhythmic dance, making it your own always. Pay attention on the inhale as your chest fills up, your belly expands, your backside body widens. And on the exhale, through the nose, feel everything in your nasal cavity soften down from your belly to your chest, all the way out through your nose. Ujjayi breaths will be continued throughout the duration of the practice. Start to build heat in the body and help bring our fiery movements into our muscles. Help us meditate. Put your inhales and exhales through the nose with a slight constriction on the back of the throat, sounding like the waves or the or like Darth Vader. They could be audible or not. You'd be sending your tongue to the roof of the mouth with your exhale. Return to your normal breaths in and out through your nose. And start to make a dedication or an intention for your practice. So I always tell individuals, something that resonates with you to help keep you in the present moment. Whether you're dedicating your practice to a certain loved one who needs a little bit more care right now and attention, or if you're working on something, your own personal goals, or whether it's a mantra, a phrase, a positive quote, or saying that you like to tell yourself to help bring importance to what truly matters in your life in this world. A nice positive quote that I like is peace comes from within me or peace comes from me. Um, a special someone had told me that it's very therapeutic to, while you're saying it in your head, touch your fingers with each syllable. So peace comes from me just keep saying that to yourself. So that's a certain mantra that you can incorporate into your practice. Absolutely anything. This is your time for you and yourself to catch your breath, slow down the world a little bit. So take a deep breath in through the nose, the deepest inhale of the day for a nice cleansing breath, filling up your chest, filling up your belly, sending air all throughout your body, hold at the top, and with a wide open mouth, exhale it out. Return to your normal breaths, in and out through the nose. Come up to a tabletop position, stacking your shoulders over your wrists and your hips over your knees. Spread your fingers out wide and press into your fingertips, all four corners of the hand, and slightly suction cup the middle of your hand so that you can bear weight in all four corners. And on an exhale, press the earth away from you, round your cat-like spine. And on an inhale, cow cat. Inhale, open your chest to the front of the room, lower your belly, and reach your tailbone up to the sky as your eye gaze is straight ahead. Exhale, press the earth away from you, round the spine, opening your backside body as you send your tailbone down. Inhale, cow, opening your chest up, counteracting cat pose. And on an exhale, bring the belly up and in, wrap the spine, bringing your chin to your chest, pressing into the earth, letting your head and neck release. And go at your own pace here, going as slow or as fast as you need to warm up the spine. If you want to incorporate some hip rotations, you could come down from child pose into tabletop to rock and roll the hips. If you want to work into the abdominal muscles, you're feel, feeling a little fiery today, you can move your hips side to side, looking over each shoulder. Slow and mindful movements as you feel the obliques fire up. Or just let your head and neck hang heavy. Fully restore your body with full relaxation and stretching. Place your left hand in line with your heart in the middle of the mat. And on an inhale, open your heart space to the right side of the room, bringing your right arm to the ceiling. 
And on an exhale, thread the needle, send your right arm through the space to the left with your palm facing up, placing your right shoulder blade on top of your mat. Place your left hand to bring the face out in front of you. Or you can always wrap it around your backside body, placing your fingers in the inner right hip crease to open up the heart space a little bit more. We tend to hunch when we're texting or driving or typing on our computers. Sometimes our monitors aren't at eye, la eye level, which is always important because it could cause tension in the neck and overall throughout the body. So it's always good to counteract that motion by opening the chest instead of rounding the spine. Place your left hand to bring the brace and inhale the right arm all the way back up to the ceiling to reset the spine. Go ahead and make some arm circles to open up your shoulder blade. Rotating the arms maybe three times forward and back and releasing the direction. Trying to keep your belly up and in. Trying to keep your whole entire body static as you're only moving your arm or rotating. Place your right arm down, swapping the right hand out for the left. And on an inhale, reach your left arm all the way up to the left side of the room, reaching the left arm all the way up to the sky, lengthening your spine forward. And on an exhale, send your left arm through the space to thread the needle, placing your left shoulder down on the mat, using the weight of the torso to find the best space to open up your shoulder. So you can bring your torso forward, a little bit more back. You can even energetically draw your left shoulder to the left wall. If you want more of a restorative pose, just let your arm muscles release down. Let your torso be the weight. Inhale the left arm all the way back up, reset the spine. Go ahead and do some arm rotations reaching up and away, and then reversing the direction once you get three or so, reaching over and forward, opening up that shoulder, place the left arm and left hand down on the mat. Spread your fingers out wide, tuck the toes beneath you, and press into your fingertips like cat spine. So puff up the space in between your shoulder blades here. That ensures that you're contracting your abs here. And not only that, it makes sure you're in proper alignment for your plank pose, as well as gets weight off that wrist. So round up the spine, tuck the toes beneath you, and lift the knees up, just the knees, slightly an inch off the mat. Keep the tailbone down. I don't want to see the butt sticking out. So really reach the tailbone down, squeeze the abs in. Makes a huge difference. And on exhale, send your right foot back in plank, stacking your heels over your right toes, and then send your left foot all the way back, stacking your left heel over your toes. Squeeze the legs in together, belly up and in, press through your fingertips, stacking the shoulders over the wrists. You've got this. Bring your knees down onto the mat. Very nice. Focus on your breath. Tuck the toes one more time. Press into your fingertips around the spine. Lift the knees up an inch. Reach the tailbone down, squeezing the abs. But this time on an exhale, lift your hips up and back. Send the legs down or facing dog. This is the first facing, yeah, dog facing, the first downward facing dog of class. It's like a tongue twister today. So make it your own. So bring in anything that feels good. This is a good restorative pose as it is. So press your hands, press away from your hands. Bring your belly on top of your thighs. Trying to aim to bring your heels to the mat. You could bend your knees deeply if you have lower back pain or hamstring tension. And then over time, you could work to straighten the hamstrings. But this is supposed to feel good. So if you have to bend the knees deeply, go for it. Wrap the triceps down. I think you're screwing on the top of a jar on your mat. So you'll see your triceps go down, your elbows come down. On an inhale, lift your heels all the way up to the sky. Come onto your tippy toes. And on an exhale, slowly melt your heels down to the earth. Feel your calves start to stretch. 
Inhale, lift your heels all the way up. Come on your tippy toes. Exhale, slowly lower your heels down. Inhale, lift your heels up. Stay here. Take baby, baby, baby steps all the way to your hands. And as you get closer to your hands, bear more weight in your fingers. Separate your feet hip width distance apart. Come into ragdoll. Bend your knees deeply. Let your belly really fall on your thighs. Bear more weight in your toes to open up the hamstring a little bit more to take weight off of your legs, your quads, so you're not really in a squat or in a forward fold here. Hinging at the hips, letting the spine release, head and neck. You can grab either elbow or just release down. You can bring in movement if you're feeling a little bit like a dancer today. Or if you want to find more stillness, silence, grounding, stay still. Focusing on your breath, how your body is feeling as you're sending air and opening all those places. And exhaling all that negative tension from your body to your mind. Release your hands on your mat. Feel toe your feet together. On an inhale, bring your hands to your shins. Come up halfway. Lengthen your spine to the wall in front of you, keeping the neck long, eyes straight down. Belly up and in. And on an exhale, hinge at the hips for a forward fold one more time, bringing our nose to our knees. Now an inhale, reach our arms all the way up to the sky, extending our legs, reaching up through our fingertips, squeezing our glutes, our legs up and in, bringing our palms together to touch. Listen carefully on exhale, we'll move into sun A's. Hinge at the hips, come down with the flat spine, leading with the chest. Release your hands by your feet, bringing your nose to your knees as best you can, letting your head and neck fully release. Inhale, hands to shins, coming up halfway for your halfway lift. Shoulders down away from the ears. Come, shift weight towards your toes. Exhale, plant your hands down, step into plank. If this isn't accessible to you, come down onto your knees. Make sure that you're in one straight line. And on an inhale, shift your weight forward so that your shoulders come past the wrist creases. On an exhale, Hug the elbows close to your body. Come down all the way if you're on your knees or if you're on regular plank. And if you're on regular plank, untuck the toes. Bring your fingers in the middle of your chest, your thumb. Bring your forehead down on the mat. Zip your legs together, your glutes. And on an inhale, open your heart space. Lift your chest up. Bear weight in your back muscles and taking away weight from your hands. Exhale, bring your forehead down to the mat. Inhale, baby cobra, open your heart space to the front of the room. Feel your back muscles firing here. We're still using our lower body, so don't lose sight. Exhale, bring your forehead down to the mat. Inhale, open your heart space. Little or no weight in your hands. Using your backside body, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the quads. Slowly lower down. Bend your knees. And windshield wiper your leg, legs back and forth. Tuck your toes beneath you. Lift your kneecaps off the mat. Place your hands right underneath the elbows. Hug the elbows close into your body. Once you feel ready, on an exhale, press into your fingertips and press up into a plank and release. Come into downward facing dog, extending the legs. Bring your hips all the way back up. You can walk the dog, reaching one heel up then the left one up. Feeling it nice in the arches and the Achilles. Inhale, lift the right leg up, flex the toes towards the face. On an exhale, plant your right foot in between your hands. 
come into warrior one. Plant your left heel down. Keep your right knee bent over your right ankle. Inhale your arms up overhead. Make sure that your hips are in one line to the front of the room. My hips are not in one line. So a good rule of thumb is bring your right hip back, left hip point forward. Now I'm completely straight in one line with my hips. They're parallel. Your right knee should never go past your right toes. You may have to step that left foot out a little bit so that you're not on one line with your feet like we are with warrior two, our feet are perpendicular. But here, we want to stagger our feet. Inhale your arms up overhead, shoulders down, away from the ears, reach through the fingers, belly up and in. Listen carefully on an exhale, peel open to the left side of the room, warrior two. It's a wider stance, so heel toe your back foot a little bit further. And this time, shoulders step right over hips. So we really want to adjust ourselves so we're in one line with our shoulders and hips, our bellies up and in. Our torso is facing the left side of the room now. We're now at center. Make sure we still see our right big toe as it's bent over our right heel. Send your right hip, your right knee towards the right wall so you can see your right big toe. Keep that left hip point down so you're not sticking it out to the left. Extend your arms out by your sides. Chin is parallel to the floor and bring your eye gaze in front of your right hand. Chin is in line with the right shoulder. Energetically draw your heels together. If I drew a line from your right heel to your left arch, they should be perpendicular. On an inhale, flip the front palm, peaceful warrior. Reach your right arm up and back overhead with your left hand gently on your left thigh. So a lot of people like to dump on either side. You want to reach up through your fingertips, send air through the right and left sides of your torso. We tend to also lift up in Peaceful Warrior. So make sure you sit that right hip point down. Open your heart space. You can even bring your eye gaze all the way to the ceiling. Take one more inhale here. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down to bring the right foot and step into your plank and move through your flow or come down to your knees. Inhale, shift your weight forward. Shoulders come past the wrist braces, chaturanga. Come down halfway or all the way if you're on your knees. Inhale, open your heart space to cobra. Stay here, extend your arms out. So we lifted and baby cobra slightly. Now this time we're pressing through our hands, extending our arms, keeping our hips down on our mat. The only difference with cobra and upward facing dog, which are both variations and options to use for our flow is that in upward facing dog, our hands are right under our hips and our hips are lifted and we press our tops of our feet into the mat. So you can use that with you throughout the duration of practice and other videos. So bring your forehead down onto the mat and on an exhale, lift your hips up and back downward facing dog. We'll review that one more time so you can stick it this time. Inhale, lift the left leg up, flex the left toes towards our face. Exhale, warrior one, send our left foot in between our hands. Keep it bent, straighten the right leg. Seal the right heel down, angle the right toes to the top right corner of the mat, reach our arms up and overhead. Left hip point back, right hip point forward. You'll see how all of a sudden, my hips are at the front of the room. Reach your fingertips to the sky by keeping your shoulders down at the same time. One more inhale. Exhale, peel the arms open to the right side, warrior two. Left heel intersects the right arch. Send that right hip point down. Shoulders stacked over the hips. Extend your arms out by your sides. Feel the energy really pull through the arms, through the fingertips. And bring your eye gaze right at your index finger. Keep your tailbone down. Draw those heels together to activate the inner leg line. Now on an inhale, flip the front palm, reach the left arm up and over your head. Peaceful warrior or reverse warrior. Avoid crunching on either side. You want to lift up and out of the waist, belly up and in. And really feel the openness of the left side body as you're reaching through the fingertips. Sit a little bit deeper. 
On an exhale, cartwheel the hands down to bring the left foot. Move through your flow. Step into plank. Listen carefully. Or come down onto your knees if you need to modify. Inhale, shift your weight forward. Shoulders come past the wrist creases. If you're on your knees, lower down, chaturanga all the way. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Opening your heart space to the front of the room. Right now I'm in cobra. And exhale, tuck the toes, lift the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Next time I will do the more advanced version for you to see. Inhale, lift the heels, bend the knees. Exhale, step or hop to the front of the mat. Inhale, hands to shins, come up halfway, belly up and in. Pull through the crown of your head forward. Exhale, forward fold, bring your nose to your knees very slightly. As you hinge your hips, relax your head and neck down. Inhale, reach your arms up and over your head. Palms come together to touch. Exhale, forward fold. Flat spine all the way down as you hinge at the hips, leading with the chest. Release your hands down by your feet. Inhale, halfway lift, come up halfway. Exhale, plant your hands down. Step into plank. Inhale, shift your weight forward. We're moving through our flow here. Lower down, come down only halfway. Hug the elbows in towards the body. Untuck the toes. Open your chest with an inhale to the front of the room. Keep the shoulders down, away from the ears. Tuck the toes on an exhale. Lift the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Belly up and in. Inhale, reach the right leg up to the sky. Flex the right toes towards the face. Listen carefully. We'll work into the abdominals. On an exhale, send your right knee in to your chest, towards your nose for plank, squeeze here. Inhale, reach the right leg back up. Remember to pop up the space like cat in between your shoulders every time you're in plank. On an exhale, reach the right knee towards the right elbow, tap. Inhale, reach the right leg up and back, flex the toes towards the face. Exhale, bring the right knee to the left elbow, twist and tap. Inhale the right leg all the way back up and release your right leg down. Mm. Inhale, lift the right leg back up. And on exhale, press and lunge. Plant your right foot in between your hands. Stay lifted on your back left toes so that your left heel stacked over the toes. Inhale your arms up overhead. So here's our crescent lunge here. We want a neutral pelvis, a neutral um, spine here. So you may have to bend the knee, bring the tailbone down, and work to straighten the leg. Your leg may not always go as straight, but as long as your pelvis is neutral, you're in proper alignment. Bear weight in your front foot and the left toes. Inhale your arms up overhead. It's the same motion of the right hip back, left hip point forward. Now on an exhale, peel open warrior two. Now at this point, it's a lot easier to peel open to warrior two because your feet are wide enough. All you have to do is pivot the back foot. Stack your shoulders over hips, extend your arms out at your sides. Look over your right shoulder. Listen carefully on an inhale, reach your fingertips forward to the front of the room. We're trying something new here. Side angle. Gently place your forearm on your right thigh. Reach your left arm up and over. That's extended side angle. If you want, you could just place your arm in line with the ceiling or regular side angle. Feel the lengthening and if your muscles firing on your right quad, especially in the inner. Your left glute should be activated as well. Keep that tailbone down, belly up and in. If you want, you can reach both arms to the front of the wall. That's a little more advanced, but you can work up to it. And on an inhale, reach the right arm up and over, peaceful warrior only, moving the arms and the torsos as their lower body's the same. Take an inhale here. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down, bring the right foot, move through your flow, ending in downward facing dog. Inhale, shift your shoulders past the wrist creases, lower down halfway, chaturanga. Untuck the toes, lift your chest, open up, inhale. 
Exhale, tuck the toes, lift your hips up and back down or facing dog. <sighs> Inhale, lift the left heel up, flex the toes towards the face. Listen carefully, we're about to do our ab series. On an exhale, hug the left knee into your chest, press into your fingers, round the spine, squeeze. Bring your left knee to your nose. Inhale, the left leg up and back. On an exhale, bring your left knee to your left elbow and plank. Squeeze through your abs. Press through your fingertips. Inhale, the left leg up and back. Exhale, bring the left knee to the right elbow for a twist and a crunch. Inhale, the left leg up and back. Release the left leg down to meet the right. Let's do a cleansing breath here. Releasing all the breath that you have left over. Take the deepest inhale of the day and fill up. I'll do it with you. Hold. Wide open mouth. Exhale it out. Towards your normal breath. Send it out through the nose. Inhale, lift the left leg up. Flex the toes towards the face. Send energy through the back heel. And on an exhale, press and lunge. Send your left foot in between your hands. Keep the left knee bent and your right leg straight, but keep your weight onto the top of the right toes. Stacking your right heel over your toes. Inhale, your arms up overhead. Keep the right knee bent if you feel a little bit wobbly and not confident or not even flexible yet. Whatever you gotta do, you do. Remember to keep that tailbone down, work to straighten the leg, belly up and in, squaring the hips forward. And on an exhale, peel open, warrior two. Pivot the back foot so the back edge of your foot is in line with the back edge of your mat. Shoulders stack over hips, belly up and in, tailbone down. Extend your arms out by your sides. Look over the left shoulder. Here we go for side angle or extended side angle. Inhale, reach your fingertips forward. Exhale, plant your, shoulder, your forearm on your thigh. Reach your right arm up and over your head. Avoid bearing weight in that left arm. We really want to pull up and out of our waist through our right fingertips. Avoiding dumping on either side. And really use the, the work of the abdominals here to keep us lifted. Squeeze the glutes. Keep the tailbone down. You do both arms, you want to try, go for it, but remember, really seal those feet into the mat. Ground yourself. Inhale, reach your left arm up and over, peaceful warrior. And on an exhale, cartwheel the hands down to bring the left foot, step into plank, and move through your flow. Inhale, shift the shoulders past the wrist braces, lower down halfway if you're lifted or all the way down if you're on your knees. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. And come to your downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the right leg up. Exhale, plant your foot in between your hands. This time, we're gonna rise up warrior two. So before you rise up, pivot the back foot as if we're standing. So pivot the back foot so the back edge is at the back left corner of your mat. And then go ahead and swoop your arms up and over, warrior two. So we've only moved from low lunge, essentially, to warrior two. Listen carefully. Extend the right leg. Bring the toes in and the heels out slightly. Wide-legged forward fold. You can be as wide as the mat if you'd like. Inhale, lengthen the spine forward. Open your chest slightly to the front of the room. And hinge at the hips, bear weight in the toes. Come down all the way till your torso fully releases down. If you want, you can bring in Skandasana, which is lunging left to right. To work into the thighs or the glutes, wherever you bear weight. Or you can come in and bring a twist, placing the left arm down, reaching the right arm up, and vice versa. 
we're just let loose here. You can even have a wide-legged downward facing dog. Feels good on my spine. Even pull. You can even bring your hands in the opposite directions with the palms facing down and work to bring your torso closer to your hips. Walk your hands over to bring your right foot into a low lunge and move through your flow. Bring your right leg back into plank or modify. Inhale, shift your weight forward, shoulders over your wrist creases, and lower down either halfway all the way, upward facing dog or cobra, and inhale, and reaching your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the left leg up, flex those toes, and on an exhale, plant your foot in between your hands, rise, warrior two. So pivot the right foot down, opening your hips to the right, swiveling out your arms overhead until they are parallel to the floor and spreading in opposite and equal directions. Extend the left leg. This time I will face you guys, so stay here. <laughs> Bring your heels in and your toes out for goddess pose. Sit your hips down and try to open up your hips as best you can. If that doesn't feel good, you could come into your down, your forward fold. So it's up to you what you want to work on today. I always give people the option to go from their forward fold or go into goddess, which is spreading your legs out wide, working through the glutes. Lifting the torso so that the shoulders stack over the hips, belly up and in. And then you could bring your pointer and your thumb together. For some people like to do their own movements. You want to rock side to side. You can make a wave with your arms. Tucking, bringing that tailbone down. Press through the heels. Imagine a string at the top of your head lengthening. Extend your legs. And cartwheel your hands to frame the left foot. Reach the left leg back into plank or lower down for a modified chaturanga. Inhale, shifting your weight forward so that your shoulders come past the wrist creases, lowering down all the way or halfway. Opening up your chest for upward facing dog or cobra. Lowering down and reaching your hips up and back for downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees. Exhale, step or hop to the front of your mat in between your hands. Inhale, hands to shins, come up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, broach your eyes, arms sweep up overhead, palms come together to touch. And release your arms down at your sides. Whew. This is a great session today. I'm working with you. So we're at the top of our mat here. Let's just get some standing balances in here for today. It's always good to incorporate at least one standing balance in for a yoga session. Even if you, it may feel impossible for you. You could start very small. Reach your tailbone down, squeeze through your legs, belly up and in. Roll your shoulders back and away from your ears, palms facing forward. Go ahead, bend the right knee, one-legged Tadasana. So ground through that left leg. And remember, this isn't all or nothing here. No one's perfect in the sense of, I mean, there are some people who could do crazy things, but listen to your body. If you fall out, who cares? Not a big deal. We're building strength. And every day is different. You'll notice one body part's more flexible than the other. There's so many different things. And so much to learn about our body. Feeling the left glute. Pull the belly up and in. Listen carefully if you want to. If you feel comfortable enough, extend that right leg out. Squeeze the leg. Feel the work in the quads. Slowly bring it down to meet the left. 
Very nice. Wiggle it out. Working through the arches, do a little dance. Now ground through that right leg. Work through that right glute. Bring that belly up and in. Find one point of focus that really helps as well. Belly, one point of focus. Ground through that right foot. And reach the tailbone down. Especially when we're doing something like this, a lot of people wobble. As long as you bring that tailbone down, squeeze the abs, boom. <laughs> it's very simple, I promise. Um, and it looks. So we're gonna do our left leg. Ground through the right, lift the left toes towards the face, flex them. So that you're activating your calf muscle. Keep your hips in one line as best you can. Really imagine that string pulling you, lengthening your spine. Belly is stretching as well. One point of focus. Mine is the camera eye. <laughs> Ready to extend. Oh, it's okay if you fall. Get back into it. Breathe. Extend the left leg out. Work through the right glute. Keep that left leg lifted. Flex those toes and slowly lower down. Beautiful. Wiggle it out. Whew. Bring your feet together to touch at the top of your mat. Inhale your arms up overhead, that deep breath. On the exhale, listen carefully. Just bend your elbows, meet your hands to hard space on the exhale. Come down onto your mat. Come onto your tush. Extend your legs out in front of you. Arms are extended. And exhale, slowly lower your torso down. You can round the spine a little bit, but really work the abs. But also notice every inch of your spine hitting the mat. Your lower, mid, go slow, upper, and bring your head, reach your arms up and over your head. Full body stretch, hike those shoulders up at your ears. This is the only time I allow you guys to do that. On the exhale, hug your knees into your chest. Rock side to side. Feel the stretch in those hip flexors. Interlace your fingers behind the right knee. Send your right knee to your right armpit and release the left leg down. Slowing down your breath feels good. After the, today's nice flow class, warming up, now it's time to release all that heat. Supine twist, send our right knee, cross our body to the left, stacking our hips on top of each other. Extend our right arm with our palm facing up and our eye gaze to follow at our right thumb. Using the weight of our right leg, to do the work for us for this twist. But if you want a little bit more of a deeper stretch, you can place your right left hand on top of your right thigh gently for a little bit more of a deeper stretch. With each inhale, really lengthening up and out of your waist. And exhale, you twist a little bit deeper. Hug your right knee close to your body. Release it down, swapping either legs. Left leg to left armpit. Interlacing those fingers using the arm muscles to hug that left knee in. You can either point or flex the feet. Flexing that right foot can help keep your right calf from lifting. On an exhale, supine twist, send the left knee over to the right, extend the left arm to the left side of the room with the palm facing up. I use right at your left thumb. Feeling your muscles. Feel a little bit more heavy. Bring your left leg up and over, back to center. Bend both legs. 
bring your fingertips to the back of your heels. Place your palms facing down. Push through your heels, the back of your hands, and the middle of your head. To lift your hips up. But before we do that, slightly tilt that pelvis and notice how your spine is completely flat on the mat. So you don't want any banana backs here. So tilt the pelvis slightly and you'll feel your entire spine working. The entire spine um, is flat on the mat, your belly and abdominals are working. Inhale, press into your hands or feet, the middle of your head. Press your hips all the way up to the sky, squeezing through the glutes, the hamstrings, keeping your knees in one line straight ahead, not spreading them out wide. Slight space in the chin and the chest. Keep the spine lengthened all the way up to your neck and slowly lower down. One more inhale, lift your hips all the way up for this nice inversion, back bend. Go ahead and shim your shoulders under your backside body. You can interlace your fingers and press the backs of your hands into the mat a little bit more. Tighten up your hips. Inhale, reach your arms up and over your head and slowly lower the spine one vertebrae at a time, squeezing those abs. And rock your knees side to side. Once you'll fight for the legs. Come into a last pose of choice, also called Yogi's Choice, or you can follow me. Coming to Happy Baby, my favorite. Grabbing onto the outside or the insides of your feet, working through the inner thighs, the hip flexors, pressing your feet into your hands and your hands into your feet. And as you do so, you'll feel your entire spine peel down on the mat. We don't want to keep our hips and our tailbone lifted. If we press into our hands and our feet, you'll notice our entire spine will be flat. You can work to straighten one leg and then the other, working through the hamstrings. Or both legs. Rock side to side, massage the spine. And release your legs down in front of you to get ready for the last pose of class, which is corpse pose or shavasana. Taking as much or as little space as you want. Arms spread out wide, legs can fall out. Palms facing, facing up for receiving. Palms facing down for more grounding. Be more in tune with yourself. Close your eyes. Relax every facial muscle. Space in between your eyebrows, the corners of your eyes. The tension in your jaw. And slightly parting the mouth and letting the tongue float in the hollow of the mouth. Take this small moment to remember that dedication and intention that you made for practice. And on your own time, take the deepest inhale, one more cleansing breath on your own, filling up as deep as you can. And release. Take the next few minutes of Shavasana and silence for yourself to fully surrender the mind, body, spirit. Find full relaxation in the present moment.
start to bring movement back into the body. Wiggle toes, wiggle fingers. Bob your head side to side. Inhale your arms up and over your head for a full body stretch. Stretching through the tips of the fingers to the tips of the toes. And on an exhale, hug your knees tight into your chest. Come into a nice little ball. And rock over to one side, giving yourself this nice tight hug. And when you're ready, come up to a comfortable seat, lengthening through your spine, sitting up tall, palms come together, heart center, bowing in. Taking this nice moment to give love, light, and joy to all our dedications and intentions that we made for our practice today. I'd like to thank everybody who has joined me for their yoga journey. And I hope that you were able to really connect your mind, body, and spirit throughout this nice rhythmic dance that I led you through. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your week. Namaste. Thank you all so much again. And I'm looking forward to seeing you all next week. Enjoy the weekend. I believe it's going to be nice and sunny, so take advantage of that. Get some vitamin D, some happy sunshine. And with that, I will see you later. Bye.